Hello, and welcome to Prayers from the Fenlands. Today you find me at St Gilbert and St Hugh, where I am hoping to give you a brief history of the church and time to reflect with prayers and readings. Please join me. St Gilbert and St Hugh, dating to 1902, was built by William Bucknell and Ninian Comper and was Grade II listed in 1988, being described as a chapel of ease. Its construction is of timber framing on a brick plinth. It compromises inside of a nave with bell coat, a chancel, vestry and south porch. A restoration of the church began in 2001. Inside the church there are four gilded wooden angels, carved and donated by Belgian refugees during World War I. Their restoration by Will Kirk was shown in an episode of the BBC television programme The Repair Shop in April of 2020. For me, St Gilbert and St Hugh will always be a very special church. As a boy growing up, I was a choir boy here, an altar server and a crucifer. And this for me is where my spiritual journey began. Please join me now inside the church for our readings, psalm and our prayers. Our first reading is from Acts chapter 3 verses 12 to 19. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we have made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed and you disowned him before Pilate, though he had decided to let him go. You disowned the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that he has been completely healed, as you can all see. Now, fellow Israelites, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your leaders, but this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Our second reading is from 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 7. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what will be has not yet been known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. 
In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he has appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him, there is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Our psalm today is from Psalm 4. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will my people turn glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin when you are on your beds. Search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy when their grain and new wine is abound. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make my dwell in safety. Please join me for our prayers. Dear Lord, please look after those this day who we hold close. Keep them safe, Lord, wherever they are, and bring them home safely to us. Look after those, Lord, around the world this day, who go out of their way to help others, even when they put their own life in danger to do it. Look after those, Lord, who keep us safe around the world, our doctors, our nurses, our care homes, keep them safe this day. And Lord, look after those around the world who keep us safe, our armed forces, our police forces, those who protect us and put their own lives at risk to do this. And Lord, look after those closer to home for us, look after our neighbours, Look after our congregations in church. Look after the young, the elderly. Look after those who can't look after themselves, Lord. Keep them safe and watch over them. Look after those, Lord, who go to our churches in our local areas and our congregation. Look after those, Lord, who can't always get to church but would like to. Watch over them, Lord, this day. And Lord, look after those around the world who are much less fortunate than ourselves. The dying. The homeless. The refugees of the world. The oppressed. For those, Lord, send an angel of salvation to them. Watch over them and guide them to you. Keep them safe. And especially look after those, Lord, around the world who do worship you and put their lives in danger every day by doing so. Especially watch over those, Lord. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers this day. And thank you for watching over us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Prayers from the Fenlands. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the like button below and hit subscribe for further notifications and upcoming events. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care.